When I first moved to Minnesota, I was full of hope. And the moment that I really realized this hopefulness, this hopefulness that I really hadn't had for a few years in my life, was that Friday afternoon that I decided to go out and find the Cathedral of St. Paul. I remember going down the interstate, um, getting off on the wrong exit, passing it up, and uh, not really knowing the area because I was so new to it, um, and then seeing the building from the outside for the very first time. And it, it isn't like I didn't have the opportunity earlier in my life to see it. Um, in fact, I had grown up less than a hundred and a hundred miles away from it, but I just had never gone there for whatever reason. And then when I went there, I got into the parking lot and I went in and I noticed that there was a uh, wedding rehearsal going on. And I was walking around. I prayed some and some of the side areas, some of the side chapels. And then I realized that I was locked in the sanctuary. And uh, I was thinking, well, I mean, this wouldn't be the worst place to spend the rest of my life, but I think God had other plans for me, and uh, I eventually got out, um, but while I was in there, I kind of got the, the first taste of how beautiful it was, and I think, I think that there's something we can learn about the uh, the beauty of religious art and that as an artist um, I like to communicate to people what exists like what what is beautiful out there um, by just presenting it to people just as I'm presenting the uh, Cathedral of St. Paul as a drawing um, so that people look at it in a different way and see my interpretation of it. Um, I think that it's important to recognize beauty because of God's creation, because God is the ultimate artist and uh, we are able to orientate ourselves, um, center ourselves on God's glory when we're using all of our senses. And the sense of sight is important for that. Um, and uh, it's interesting because in the cathedral there's, there's a lot of religious art. There's a lot of, of course, but there's a lot of symbolism in there too. And one of the things that I had learned is that it's no coincidence that the uh, four gospel writers, the uh, four evangelists, are next to the uh, four main pillars that hold up the church. Because they also, the uh, word of God also holds up the domestic church. So that's just something to to think about, and uh, I hope that this helps you look at the cathedral in a different way.